Hey y'all, Ripro here. So let's get started with episode 2. So for this episode we're gonna go into our first level which is Jellyfish Fields. Let's get going. Alright, so let's get going. So this is Jellyfish Fields. It's the first level of the game, and as it's the first level, it's um, going to be your main tutorial level. But also, this game, this level has a bunch of um, um, a bunch of shiny object gates. Basically, you can see a clam up there. You can't really see the sign yet, but you have to pay shiny objects to get places. This level has quite a few of them, so you're going to see me breaking a lot more tiki's than I normally would, just because you want to make sure you have some shiny objects. So this is a teleport box. This is basically your way of getting around levels. Each level is going to have at least two of them, and they will just send you back and forth. They're paired, and they will send you back and forth through each other, but you have to open both of them in order to use it, so it's not going to work right now. Not until I get further in the level. Alright, let's keep moving. So robots also count towards um, combos, it's not just tiki's. So while it takes, I think at least, um, I think it takes about five or six, it takes six to get an ultra combo with tiki's, it takes two to get an ultra combo with robots. So these, as you can probably tell just by looking at them, these trees are bouncy. They'll launch you really high up in the air and if you need underwear, it's right up here. So you land, and I can get another Ultra Combo. Ultra Combos give you five extra shiny objects, by the way. Super will give you three, um, and regular will give you two. We'll see much higher combos later on. I don't know who did the audio work on this, but oh my god. That is probably the loudest um, waterfall you'll ever hear, even in real life. So we got a Super Combo right there, so we got three shiny objects. 1, 2, and 1, 1. And over here, if I get get them all destroyed in time, I got a super monster combo. Which gave me 40 extra shiny objects. And down here, I got a sock. So now we finish this little part of the level. Let's head over to the clam and pay this hole. I don't know how this triggers the plane, but it just does. So now we can head across this bridge and find a checkpoint. If you've played a video game, you know what a checkpoint is. Basically, if you die, you will come back to this point when you respawn. And I'm going to try to make this run 100%, um, so you all know. There will there be some points late in the game where I'm going to have to grind shiny objects. And I'm probably going to cut most of that out. 
But that's but my goal in the game is to get 100 shiny objects. I mean, it's to get 100%. My bad. All right, this is Freezy Fruit. Only Patrick. That's a spoiler. That yes, later in the game you will be able to play as Patrick. Um, and I'll actually be coming back probably later in this episode to deal with that. So now I bash those and leave two tiki's. I can jump over here and get some more shiny objects. Now let's jump across here and over here. By the way, um, spinning, um, spinning while jumping will actually let you go a little further because it'll kind of keep you in the air a little longer. Just a tip to help you clear a little, just help you clear distances that might be a little too far for away for away for you. So now we can jump across these barrels. I hit the wrong button. Um, it's not really paint, painting my skill this game in the best light, but I believe the barrels will stay. No, it turns out they won't. All right, so we just have to get back there, press the button again, and go across. But since I'm playing on an emulator, I am using a controller. I'm not really used to pl um, playing this game with. I'm playing with an Xbox controller. Normally, I'd be playing this on the GameCube. And over here you'll see our first purple shiny object, which itself is worth 50. There you go, 499. All right. So now there are these enclaves over here. We can just wait for it to pass by or you can just jump straight across. For some reason, once you get really close, it'll just stop firing. We can just destroy right here. All right. So, this is a bungee hook. SpongeBob can bungee from, from it. To bungee from the bungee hook, just jump and touch it. To dive downward, press the A button. To exit from the bungee hook, press the B button. So if we jump, you will see some you will see some sponge ass. No better way to put that. You see SpongeBob's butt crack. And there's another golden spatula. Let's keep moving. What is it? um say here? Meow. I'm not sure what he said, but I guess it was interesting. We hit this button, and that will raise pillars to help us get across. Get rid of that robot. Let's keep moving. And we have the next robot we're going to meet. I should have mentioned the first robot we met, it's called the Fodder. I'm not sure why it's called that, but it is. It attacks you with an electric wand, as you've seen before. This one is cleverly named the Ham Mer. And just smacks you with its giant ham. All right. And you'll see over here, there's a bowling alley. We cannot use this yet. We'll come back here later in the game. That's gonna ha kind of happen in a few levels. Just so y'all know, I'm gonna be playing levels out of order. There's a certain way, um, progression I like to take in this game, and I'm gonna be following that. So there are any levels I'm gonna skip and come back to. Just usually because I'll have another move at that point. But first, we're gonna play all the way through Jellyfish Fields, but we are gonna have to come back here a couple times actually.
All right, so here's um, a really funny glitch that's in the game. So this is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim. If you've seen the show, you can't swim, and they will get hurt in the goo. So you don't want to jump into it. That robot does. Um, that robot's pathing, pa uh, pathfinding isn't really the best. So yeah, if you get too close to the edge, that that one robot, the other ones won't do it. It'll just go right into the goo and kill itself. Alright, so coming up here we have a couple places we can go. Um, up there, up over forward, is how you progress in the level, but if I jump on this tree and turn around, I can jump up here. And there are a bunch of shiny objects and a sock. And if I follow this trail of trees, there's this last one, I will jump right on top of Jellyfish Rock, where there is another sock. And actually, if you look at this barrel and propeller, it's actually, I don't know if you can see it from here, it's holding up the bungee hook that we jump from. So we can jump all the way back, jump on this rock that... Well, basically acts as a teeter-totter, so you can just jump it to prevent it from falling. And here's the other teleport box. If you want to see how that works, just jump back and forth. Like that. So this is a Duplicatotron. This is basically your spawner of the game. So it only, it'll only spawn a, n a certain number of robots, but if you destroy any of those robots, it'll respawn it. And when you destroy it, it will explode after a few seconds, so you need to stand back. You'll see... In just a second. Let's just see. Um, respawn a robot. Yep, there we go. There we go. Now we press this button. We get a golden spatula. for the best conversation in the game. Following the best conversation, you will now see the best mechanic in the game. Spongebob sliding on his tongue. With this rock and roll playing in the background, this is the most fun aspect of the probably the most fun aspect of the game. That's the basis for an entire level later. If you take this alternate path, you'll find a sock. Now let's see if I can make this first attempt. Ah oh, no, not quite. Let's okay, let's try this again. If I don't make it the second attempt, I'll probably um, do a cut until I actually make it. But let's try this now. Then so you can jump, and he'll tur turn around. And you're actually moving a lot faster this way than you would just on foot. There we go. And we have 10 socks, but I'm going to wait until we get all 80 in the game to turn them in, just so I can turn them in all at once. With my route, I shouldn't need just a single spatula. So now we have a challenge. This will probably end off our episode today. We have three duplicatotrons and three buttons to hit. So let's get going. So I'm going to come up here, hit this button. Destroy the Duplicatotron and take a shortcut down. There we go. And 
number two. All right, and let's head on up here. Let's destroy number three. Let's head down here. And there we go. All right, let's go talk to Patrick. So let's collect this golden spatula, and that will do it for today. So thank you again for watching, and tomorrow we will um, play around with Patrick and see what we can do with him. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you later.